Congratulations to PayPal for fully plunging themselves into the gutter of woke corporate bullying. Good luck accessing the money in your PayPal account, everybody, if you happen to have the wrong opinions about stuff. Turns out PayPal have shut down the account of the Free Speech Union, an organisation that supports individuals who've had their livelihoods damaged because they've publicly expressed views outside of mainstream woke groupthink. Mainstream media publications are claiming that the Free Speech Union is associated with other PayPal accounts that peddle vaccine misinformation or criticise the teaching of radical gender theory to young children. But actually, the Free Speech Union is avowedly non-partisan and exists to support individuals with all sorts of unconventional views. And even if the Free Speech Union wasn't non-partisan, so what? It's still a completely unjustifiable excuse for withholding funds from them. It's another example of the ideological intolerance that's been poisoning our culture for the best part of a decade now. Whatever industry you work in, if you want to get ahead or even just survive in the current climate, you'd better make sure you're spouting all the correct opinions. In all aspects of public life, we've now got two choices, it seems. Get on board with woke globalist communism or be smeared, sacked and denied access to your own money. Encouragingly, there are a lot of people with integrity out there who've been brave enough to criticise PayPal censorious practices on Twitter and Facebook and have quickly faced a backlash from rabid identity obsessed leftists for their trouble, suddenly finding themselves scrolling through pages of vile abuse from anonymous bullies. Because on Twitter and Facebook, of course, just like in every other public forum, anyone who speaks against groupthink is about as welcome as a fart in a lift. If the world's largest online payment system can freeze your finances because they don't like your opinions, then so can your high street bank. This is how autocrats breed compliance. This is the template for a social credit system. First, the globalists control your money, then they control your thoughts and your words. I want to request that those of you who are supporting these videos via PayPal, please now switch to Patreon or Subscribestar by following the links below this video, because I don't want to support any organisation that seeks to dictate what its customers are allowed to say and think. Thank you.